This segment will be talking about stripping and evaluating coaxial cable. The first thing we want to do when we're working with coax cables, we want to look at how to cut coax cable. Some people use a tool like this, like a linesman plier or something like that, or even a side cutter, and they'll cut the cable. And what we see when we cut the cable is that it smashes the cable. So this is not good because when we go to the stripping process, we'd like this to be round and not smashed, and also the dielectric's been mashed. It's better to use a tool like this that has a more rounded cut. So now when we cut the cable, we see we have a much more round connection here. And that's better to work with. So try to use the right tool when cutting your coax. Now what we'd like to do is strip this coax. And coax comes in different uh, diameters. And also, different connectors, when you go to terminate, are going to have different spots in which we need to cut this. So in this case, we're going to use the stripping tool, which looks like this. And um, now if you can see down in there, there are two razor blades. And now that we've cut this nice and flush and square, we're going to put this in the tool, and it's going to go right up against this yellow point on the inside. It's going to go right up to there and close the jaws. And I'm going to just kind of pinch, give it a tiny bit of pressure here, and I'm just going to go around a couple times. I can hear that cutting through the um, shield inside. So now I can pull off the front, and on the back here we have where it just cuts the jacket but leaves the, the shield, the braid behind. First thing we need to do now is inspect to make sure that we don't have any conductors from the shield on our center conductor. We're going to pull those away and make sure that there is nothing touching that center conductor. If it does touch, that's going to short out our connection and we'll have to start over and it'll be difficult to troubleshoot. So now we've got a little bit of strand here. I'm going to cut that off with my side cutters. sure they're sharp too. And make just one more final check that there's nothing in there. And now we're ready to put on our termination, our BNC connector. So preparing coax is as easy as that. Use the proper tools, take your time, and inspect what you've done to make sure it's nice and clean.